Chapter 7. I got out my notebook. 7. Realistic lizard poster. Take the special zoo bus. My mouth felt really dry. I decided it wasn't just the surprise of seeing the giant lizard on the bus. It was also the surprise of seeing that someone had removed the album cover. Someone was trying to hide clues. I wondered if it could be the chicken man. He had seen me looking at the album cover. Maybe there were a whole lot of people who didn't want me to find out about the lizards. Maybe the guy at the TV station was lying to me over the telephone. I decided that I'd better get a grape soda. There was a little store on the corner. It sold magazines and cigars and candy, and it had a soda fountain. I went in. It was dark and smelled sort of sweet and damp. They had all kinds of weird candy in jars. In each jar there was a piece of torn-off cardboard, and penciled on it was one cent or two cents. There were cards and combs and keychains and corncob pipes and dice and work gloves and little American flags and all sorts of other stuff hanging behind the counter with the one cent and two cent candy. A little farther down was this counter made out of black and white stone, marble I guess. It had stools and most of them and most of the counter had stacks of newspapers piled up. I sat down on the one stool without a stack of newspapers on it. There was a little fat guy moving around behind the counter. He was about as wide as he was tall. Don't just sit. Say, he said. I beg your pardon, I said. Say, say, what do you want? How may I serve you, your highness? The little fat guy made a low bow and disappeared under the chrome faucets behind the soda fountain. He didn't come up again. I sat there waiting for him to straighten up. Say! Say, he groaned. I could hear him sort of grunting and moaning from somewhere underneath the counter. Say! I'd like a grape soda, please, I said. The little fat guy popped up like a cork. Yes, sir, at your service. One grape soda for his majesty. Coming up. The little fat guy ran to the end of the counter and shouted into a door that was there at the back of the store, almost hidden by stacks of cartons. A hey, grape soda for the young Tsarevich! He shouted through the door. Then he ran to the front of the store and shouted out into the street, A grape soda for a prince of royal blood! Then he reached out of the counter and came up with a thing like a tiny accordion. ta ta too he shouted, and squeezed the little accordion, the thing which sounded sour. Then the little fat guy dropped the little accordion and ran to the back of the store where there was a soda cooler. He fished out a bottle of grape soda, draped a little towel over his arm, and ran back to where I was sitting. He showed me the label. Professor Pedwee's Natural Grape Beverage, it said. 1975, an excellent year, the little fat guy said. Does the young gentleman approve? Sure, I said. Sure, sure, the little fat guy danced around. He approves. Order the Cadillac limousine and the estate in France. He approves. He opened the bottle and handed it to me. Does the prince want the straw? I had an idea, sort of a hunch. Excuse me, I said. Do you know someone called the Chicken Man? Of course, Majesty, the little fat guy said. He is my friend. He comes here every night. We watch the lizards together. I almost choked on my grape soda. You watch the lizards, I asked. Isn't that what I said, the little fat guy shouted. You're maybe a music critic? You have something against lizards? You prefer rock and roll? Who asked you? That'll be ten cents for this soda. No, I mean, I, I, I watched the lizards, too. I'm just surprised. I mean, I, I'm a friend of the chicken man. I mean, I met him. I was sort of looking for him. I dug out a dime and put it on the counter. Ah, that's different. Any friend of the chicken man is a friend of mine. Would you care to leave a message for him? Just tell him that Victor was looking for him. Exactly so, Victor. And my name is Shane Ferguson, the little fat guy said. Pleased to meet you, I said. Precisely. My good friend, Matthias Grunewald, also known as the Chicken Man, will be here late tonight. Here is the number, if you should care to call him. Shane Ferguson handed me a card and said, Hubert Van Eyck, the Chicken Man, old and rare poultry books, investment counselor, bail bondsman, telephone H O seven eight nine three seven. You said his name was Matthias Grunewald, I said. Without question. His professional name, however, is... Shane Ferguson took back the card and looked at it. Hubert Van Eyck. He handed me the card again. I put it in my notebook and noticed the last note I had made. Take special zoo bus. Do you know where I can catch the special zoo bus? I asked Shane Ferguson. 
right on the corner. You can't miss it. It's got a big lizard on the side. I said goodbye to Shane Ferguson and went outside to wait for the bus. <laughs>